Alright, uh, welcome back. This is the final video uh, involving Windows. There's going to be a 4B that involves Linux uh, and might also apply to, to Mac OS. Uh, now, the hard work of actually creating the OpenVPN server is already done. And the kind of hard work of getting that file off of the open, the, getting the configuration file off the OPN, open VPN server is already done as well. This last part should be as easy as uh, anything else that you install on your computer or your tablet or your phone, uh, but it's going to be different for every platform because there's going to be a different open VPN client for every platform. Like I've, I've already done this in Linux, I've done this in Windows, I've done this in Android, it's different for all three. So I can't make one video that, uh, I can sorry, I can't make a video for every single platform uh, because it's going to be different, different for everyone. However, it's also going to be relatively easy for each platform. On Android, I installed OpenVPN Client. I uh, downloaded, I, I copied the file that I just downloaded in the previous video. I took that file and I got it onto my phone. You can do it any way you want to. And then I started up the OpenVPN Client and imported that file and I hit connect. And that's that's it. So that's it's very, very simple. It's very easy. Um, I just wanted to go ahead and have one example. This is an example of doing it on Windows. It's pretty much the same process. Um, in fact, I can go ahead and close this window because I don't even need that anymore. Um, the first thing you're going to want to do, you do have to install software for this. So in the previous video, we installed PuTTY. In this video, we're going to install OpenVPN. Uh, and to do that... So we're going to install OpenVPN, uh, and I'm just going to go ahead and do a search for OpenVPN, OpenVPN client for Windows. Downloads OpenVPN, and I'm going to want to install this one right here. Let's zoom in a bit. So you download that and install just like you would any other program, and uh, I don't believe I have. Oop, I don't want to close the machine. That was another hit the wrong X again. Um, so I have the file, now I have the software. I don't think I've started it, my face is in the way. So this OpenVPN GUI actually runs from, when you start it, it's going to open from the, in the uh, system tray. Okay, one thing that I just want to say briefly, if you unsuccessfully imported a file before, uh, then it's you're going to want to go ahead and delete those settings that you already have. So in my case, it's in C users, a Norman. Uh, so it's in, and this is the default setting for Windows 10. It might be a different default for Windows 7 and Windows 8. Um, so it's in my user directory and then slash openvpn slash config. I'm just going to go ahead and delete that. So close that. And now I've got the system tray. I'm going to go ahead and right click on that, import file. Import file from the desktop in this case. I, so it, it, it automatically goes to the desktop, you might need to navigate to it. And it says file imported successfully. And now I need to right click and hit connect. Don't forget to do that because otherwise you will import a file and then done nothing with it. So you want to connect to that and I'm going to go ahead and move this back out of the way. It's a guide notification. Oh, client one is now connected, huh? <laughs> and uh, so how can I test this? How can I be sure that it's working as expected? Very, very easily, in fact. Okay, so how do I test this? How do I make sure that, okay, I've done all this, but it's invisible. How do I know that I actually am, uh, that the VPN is actually doing something, it's not just sitting in that box and, and just sitting around doing nothing. To test this, to make sure it's working, you go to, you can go to, there's more than one place you can do this. IP location dot net, find IP, oop, oop, not up address, find IP address. So this is going to tell me what address it sees. So I see now that that's the IP address that this website, IP location, thinks I'm at. Uh, and you can actually disconnect from the VPN server and uh, see that it that that will change but something else you can do uh, but 
Oh, also be aware that sometimes it can take a few seconds for it to recognize that there's a change happening. It says my IP address is 162.243.216.89. Well, that just happens to be the IP address of the VPN server that I just set up, so I know it's working correctly. Whenever I go to this website, it's routing through that VPN server that I just created, so it's working correctly. Okay, so like I said, I can't cover every single client program for a open VPN. This is just the basic idea of how it works. Um, the interface will be different for each system, uh, but it'll all work basically the same way. I hope that was helpful, and this is going to be the last video in the series, unless you want to watch 4B if you're also using a Linux client. Alright, thank you very much for watching, and I hope this was helpful.